this 400 metres freestyle S9 final. Amy Marin and Stephanie Millward in the centre lanes for Great Britain. Hegevit from Norway. In lane two, Nuria Marquez Soto from Spain. In lane three, there's Amy Marin from Great Britain. The fastest entry time in lane four. Next to her teammate Stephanie Millward. In lane five, Gordachuk from Israel. In lane six, and Efimla Kuli from Greece in lane number seven. I think there should be a battle between the two GB swimmers. Stephanie Millward, the European record holder, goes in lane number five. Final of the women's 400 freestyle S9. The two GB swimmers immediately ahead of the field from the dive. Marin in four, Millward in five. Well, it was a slightly better start from Steph Millward as we'd expect to see as uh, she can form a more streamlined position as soon as she gets into the dive. She's got those two good arms. Got a hand obviously on the end of each arm. Amy Marin only got one hand which means that she can't join those hands together underwater and create a streamlined position under the water that means that Steph Millwood gets more from the glide but but that advantage now has been eroded away by Amy Marin at the top of your picture in the two lanes that are marked out in yellow in the top of those two lanes is Amy Marin nearest us Steph Millwood there's Amy Marin briefly and you can see the hand hand coming over and the stump arm managing to go over in an even pace which is actually very difficult for S9 swimmers to do there you can see again Steph Millwood advantage in the streamlined section of the turn she managed to eat away at that small advantage that Amy Marin had built up Amy Marin got to make sure that stump arm doesn't go doesn't just slip through the water quicker that's Steph Millwood Slightly lazy with the with the left hand there as they come now into the 150 mark. And again, Paul, Amy Marin just eked out a slight advantage. Will she lose that with this turn? Well, it's point three is the difference on the electronic timing. Well, Steph Millward quite catching there. It wasn't really a marked difference as they came out of that turn. Marin just with that slight lead. Millward in second. Third place, clear in third, is Nuria Marquez Soto from Spain. Looks like these three are well clear of the others so far. Marin now just about maintaining that slight lead. She's breathing over to the side of Steph Millward. The lead is... Well, and there again, Paul, we saw them go into that turn. Amy Marin, ever so slight advantage, had that taken away with the turn with Steph Millward. Steph Millward now moving ever so slightly in front of Amy Marin. Amy Marin looking away from Steph Millward, so perhaps she doesn't know quite where she is. Both these swimmers, fantastic fitness. A really, Amy Marin looking to better 4.44.43, and Steph Millward looking to better her entry time of 4.45.08 into the turn again. Now, Amy Marin is going to have to start and make a move here because with each turn, Steph Millward is clawing a small advantage, maybe even just 30 centimetres of an advantage, but that is starting to add up as this race unfolds. Yeah, Steph Millward putting on the pressure now. Amy Marin in second position. Can Amy Marin respond as they come to the 300 mark? 100 metres to go in the women's 400 freestyle S9. Stephanie Millward has created a 1.4 second lead over her teammate Amy Marin with Nuris Marcus Soto 
in third position for Spain, but now Stephanie Millward really putting on the pressure here and leaving Amy Marin adrift in second position. Can Amy Marin respond here as they come to the last turn? Well, Steph Millwood looking very workmanlike in her technique, very, very even arm strokes, bilateral breathing. That means she breathes to one side and then alternates that with the occasional breath to the other side. That helps keep her shoulders very even in the rolling phase of this freestyle stroke. Amy Marin, you have to say her technique has slightly fallen apart as the race has gone on and she's got tired. Her head started moving around a bit more. That's all costing her time. And Steph Millwood really taking this to full advantage. Chris Ferber, the performance director of British Swimming, will be looking at this, be happy with the victory, but more importantly, he's going to be concerned with the time. What does this mean for Stephanie Millwood on the global stage? Here she comes, 4.41.99. Ever so slightly outside of her best. A good performance there by Stephanie Millward. She took that race in the second half. It was close between Millward and Marin right up until the 300 mark. But in that last 100, Stephanie Millward pulled away a smile from Amy Marin. She will take the silver medal behind the champion. That is Steph Millward. It's gold and silver to Great Britain and bronze to Spain. There's Stephanie Millwood, all smiles. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I enjoyed that, she said. I will give you a hug. It was well, a good performance, wasn't it? She really looked good there. Looked strong in the closing stages. Amy Marin looked a bit shocked by that. She turned around, she looked... Her face was up on the screen. She, when she saw herself, she gave a big smile, but I think she was a bit disappointed with that time. Some way off her best. These morning swims difficult as we've spoke about, but uh, but nevertheless, it's the same for everyone and you have to be able to turn up and put in a performance at least on your best. That's Steph Millward, European champion for this year. Looks full of energy there, Steph Millward getting out of the pool. Steph Millward approaching the finish. The race was won by that time. Stephanie Millward takes the European title. That's the third time she's won this title, following up her wins in 2009 and 2011. Stephanie Millward is the European champion again. She takes gold ahead of her teammate Amy Marin with Marcus Soto.